Yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. I still be around the way. I still be on grand and everything. What's up, man? Man, my guest list was about 700 people in here tonight, man. Oh, I came in for about two minutes. It was so hot, I saw a Greyhound bus and a dog was on the inside, nigga. <laughs> Roo! He needs some air conditioning. I know it was hot. That was that after six hot right there. You know black folk, we don't do nothing to after six. <laughs> nigga, when it be that hot like that, they be like, run me to the store. Hey, nigga, uh, round six. Call me round six or something, nigga. I might run down there, cause my air ain't working. My air ain't working in my ride. What's up, Spain? Over here getting flared, all the true flares over there with the brims on. What's up, flare? I feel you. Levine. They over there clean, flare over there clean like that. First day of school, too, ain't it? Nigga, first day of school clean. Isn't it? <laughs> You'll be over your house eating ribs like this. Yeah, that's good as hell, that nigga. That's good right there, boy. That bread get caught right there. <laughs> Man, what's up? I say, I'm gonna look where the yo's, where the noobs at? All right, yo, all right. Yeah, man, I was sitting over here tripping out there. I was listening to the radio, man, because he, I, I had to find, you know, magic can move about seven times since I've been gone. I love Magic One, but I remember when they were 108, you know, back then, you know. That's back when Freeman was the man, that's all I'm saying. Back when River Rose was the shit, that's all I'm talking about. It meant something to go through the circle, y'all know what I'm talking about. Northwest Plaza was a real plaza. <laughs> nigga, it was outside, it was cold, nigga. You you be trying to hurry up, get to the next door, nigga. Why is way over there? <laughs> I listen to the radio, though, man. I'm just really sick of these little songs that's out now, man. Ain't nobody making no good songs no more, man. All these little dudes, man. Ain't no song make you, you know, touch you. You don't count song make a thug cry. It used to be song make a thug cry, boy, like, like Prince Purple Rain. Yeah, why thugs don't like Prince? He make you cry at the end, man, with that. <laughs> Thug be trying to hold it in, nigga. <laughs> Songs like, like OJ's Family Reunion. Come on now. You can be in just got out of jail. Boy, that one come on, boy. It's hard to hold it in right there, boy. It's so nice to see all the family. You be up there crying, thinking about Big Mama. Big Mama! <laughs> Let me go, Earl. I can cry if I feel like it. Ain't no cold love song singer. I like all my old school singers, man, like Teddy P. Teddy smooth, dog. He, he tell you what he want in a song. You don't have to be guessing. Teddy talk to you. And turn off the lights. Light a candle. And if Teddy think you ain't listening to him, he'll holler at your ass. Turn him off. No, you make sure that damn light out, I know that. That's why I like that music, because I just realized something about me. I realized this a couple weeks ago. I'm a grown ass man. You know, once you become a grown ass man, it's just little things you just don't do no more, you know. My little cousin, he like 17, 18, trying to get me to play full court basketball player. Full court, you know, up, down, back up, down, up. Nigga, I'm a grown ass man, dog. 
Man, hurt my whole left side out there trying to play that game. Nigga, I, I got shit to do tomorrow, man. I ain't got time for that. Look, you know, little lady on the airplane, I'm riding, I'm coming up, you know, and I'm talking to one of my partners, and little steward is gonna come past me talking about sit down and shut up. What? Look here, lady, I'm a grown ass man. I'm gonna say something. Something, I bet y'all keep saying something, I bet y'all say something. You grown ass man, dog. It's just little things you just don't do no more, man. Look like, like you know, black folk. We got all these little nicknames. You know, you listen to the radio on the little shout outs, bro. Be give it up. I want to haul out my homie, little stomach ache, uh, toilet paper, shoe polish, Wayne Wayne Nug Nug. I met this brother the other day, dog. Brother named Daryl. He gonna tell me. Everybody just call him delicious. It's all right if I call him delicious. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man player. I ain't get ready to call no other dude delicious. What if he all down the street or something? Delicious! It's me. Calling over his mama house. How you doing, Miss Jones? Delicious there? No damn dude delicious. I'm a grown ass damn man. I don't like a lot of these little songs out, these little love songs, like these little whining little dudes. I don't like these whining little dudes, man. All that whining to be talking about love song. I can do it in the shower. I will take you, I'll take you there. I can do it anywhere. I'm a grown ass man player. You don't have to whine like that. Tell her get up there. She love all that. Go on, get up on the counter, girl. Come on. Just ask her, she'll get up there. You don't have to cry about that. She want to get on the counter. You don't have to whine. All these little songs, man. Then the ladies, y'all got all these little, whoo. Y'all got some songs out right now. They did the bills now, come on. You can pay my bill, pay my telephone bill, pay my automobile. Let me tell you something, I'm a grown ass man. I got bills of my own. Pay your own shit. Ain't nobody say nothing when you was over my house using the phone. Didn't nobody say nothing. Shantae got a damn man at home. I mean, is that necessary? Why he ain't at work, Shantae? That's what we want to know. Bragging to people because he at the crib. Then this little song, Scrubs, it's just messing up society. It's messing up society. Come on, that's just messing up carpooling right there. Hanging on the passenger side of your best friend ride. I'm on my way to work. You don't know me. You don't know me like that. You don't know what I'm going through. I drove last week. I drove last week. Live at home with your mama. My mama's sick. I got problems. You don't know. I don't appreciate it. That's what the women anthem, that's what they call them. Y'all get an anthem. Hey, yeah, boy. Hey, hey since uh, ain't nothing going on but the rent. That set it off. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. That was it. Last year with Tyrone. Brother got a call, Tyrone. I don't even know Tyrone like that. I don't know him that good. And I like the little song till she got all sassy. You know, that's what made me mad. She, Tell him, come on, help you pack your shit. tell you something, I'm a grown ass man. I, I paid the cable, I paid the cable. Well, I ain't going nowhere till the end of the month then. Shit, I ain't going nowhere. Tyrone don't have to be over here till the 30th. I bet y'all don't go nowhere, I bet y'all don't go nowhere. I've been having fun too, man. I've been traveling all around, man. I went to, I went to Europe this year, went over to Paris. 
That was kind of dope. That was hip. They get our music, too. They get our music, but they get it a little late. But it be in French. You know, they France. You know, it be French. They be blowing, though, like, like R. Kelly. R. Kelly be blowing, but it be in French. It be over there rocking it, too. R. Kelly. Do Jimmy Pill, Timmy Glum, and Tree Play Voo. Shabba Dada, no more clean now. Do Jimmy Pill, Timmy Glum, and Tree Play Voo. Off up in college. See, what I'm telling you is you can't translate off up in college. You just can't. Certain things ain't translatable. I don't care what language, it be in German. Up up in college. Can't translate a lot of our stuff. A lot of our stuff is personal, that's all I'm saying. I was tripping all over there too, man. Been watching the movies, man, that's out. We got a few little black movies. We don't get a lot of black movies no more, man. We don't get the money for them, you know. And we sure don't get black movies that can turn into an ice show that you can take your kids to. White kids always get, white little movies, they always turn into ice shows. You know, it'd be Aladdin being Aladdin on ice. Be Lion King, Lion King on ice. What we got, set it off? Set it off on ice. Booty call. And space movies. Boy, white folk love them some space movies. They had another Star Wars. Come on now. This was the Star Wars that supposedly happened before the other Star Wars that you already seen. This was new. Come on, how much space y'all believe in, man? They love space. That's because they think they're going to move and leave us down here. That's why. White folks love space. That's why they be moving way out O'Fallon. Real deep St. Charles, deep. We don't even, they be trying to move way. They don't move out north no more. They know we found that out there, nigga. <laughs> we all up in Barrington Downs. Like, what's up, nigga, what's up? <laughs> oh my God, we're gonna have to go west. They be trying to move, but we always find out where they, where, where they live because our cousin work for UPS. Oh, y'all got to get packages. Y'all got to get packages. We, we ain't letting y'all. They want to move to the moon, leave us down here like we ain't going to be able to go. Y'all should never brought us over here in the first place. Y'all ain't getting rid of us. White folk, I'm letting you know, if y'all move to the moon, damn it, we coming to the moon. We going to be right behind you in space shuttles with Cadillac grills, nigga. Just, just rolling, <laughs> one headlight out, nigga. tags all wrong, all base. Uh, be all oh my God, they're coming. <laughs> man, I've been having fun though, but I've been out there in LA, man. It's a, it's a trip out there in LA, man. See, we ain't got no basketball team here, man. You know, I was enjoying the, the playoffs and the whole thing. I ain't like that lockout. I was a little concerned, you know, when they had the lockout in LA and bros wasn't playing. See, because basketball players, they the only ones that like really just be all up in the hood. They be at the party, hanging out. You know, you see them all the time, little huge, them, they be out, they be there. You know, but out there, now, you know, that ain't right, dog. They be seven, nine, you know, about eight feet. So they stuff, you know, be all right up in here on you. And they be trying to holler at you, you be like, what, nigga? What, Shaq, nigga, gone, man? Shaq a big old dude. Can you imagine being your cuz? You got to ride him home on the handlebars. <laughs> handlebars. That was black people's first roller coaster, wasn't it? Slow down! 
going too fast. Worldwide, though, man, I was tripping off that. Like the little dude down in Atlanta shot all them people, man. That's sad, dog. He ain't lost a little money. He ain't went and killed everybody. Wasn't no black people in there, though. I'm just saying, I don't even really mean to be facetious, but black people usually don't get killed in large groups. <laughs> Y'all ever notice that? Like, through history, we don't never really go out, you no know, eight, nine of us all together. Because we run. We run when somebody else run. We don't be asking no questions while we running. You start running, damn it, I'm gonna start running. That's how it go. We be in the middle of a conversation, take off running. Yeah, anyway, so Keith, them. Damn, nigga, you scaring me, dog. What happened? Y'all know I ain't lying. Let about six, seven people get up and start running right now. Right now, I'm talking about the joke. Six, seven people get up, start running right now. It'd be about eight, another eight or nine going, what? <laughs> what they, what, what they, what they running for? Somebody get Lisa in them, get Lisa. Woo. White people always get messed up because they walk right into it. What the heck is going on here? Jesus Christ. Why didn't anybody tell me? You saw us running, dog. You should ran when we ran. The trip, man. The little, little kids, them little kids at Columbine, I was sad to hear about that. Little kids like that, man, all violent. Taking the steel to school. That's terrible, taking the steel to school. When I grew up in an era where we took the steel to school, sure, we took the steel to school. I mean, wasn't no gun. Was a lethal weapon every now and then. It was a lunchbox. <laughs> oh, you hit a nigga with a Starsky and Hutch lunchbox, nigga, you don't get Ain't nobody playing with you, Herb. Nigga with a six million dollar man lunchbox, nigga, you don't get you. <laughs> Your little gay cousin got a Charlie's Angels lunchbox. Come on, delicious, bring your ass home. <laughs> he was fighting though, but he was fighting. <laughs> People be winning them lotteries too, boy. That's big time stuff. Remember that lottery? Somebody just won too. Look, look, you little young little white girl. 190 million. Took the buyout. You know, she came home like fitness for me. You know, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of money to you know 190 to 54, but hey, 54. 54 million. You won it at the gas station. You know, come on. I know I'll win, I would, I'll keep it real. I'll be wanting to win the lottery. I play the lottery. I know y'all be thinking, come on, say it. I know you got some money. Man, I ain't got 54 million dollars though. <laughs> I win the lottery, I'ma keep it real. Y'all gonna know I'm true Cadillac type bro. Real, cause I'm do like most black folk. I'm, well, you know, I'ma do it right though. I'ma put most of it in the bank, sure. You know, stocks, bonds, certificates, what have you. But I'm telling you today, I'm gonna have about 36,000 in cash, nigga, just home. Nigga, <laughs> just doing regular everyday life stuff all at the gas station. Let me get, uh, let me get a pack of Newports. Uh, let me get two more lottery tickets. And give me three. Now go ahead and make it four dollars on pump eight. Hmm. 
<laughs> I have it all at home in a Crown Royal bag where it's safe. Black folk don't trust no bank. That's why we ain't worried about Y2K. Let us lose our little, boy, let that little bank try to lose our little money down there. Boy, we are, we are a fool down there. <laughs> I've been learning a little martial arts too, though, man, trying to, you know, get my little workout on, trying to learn a little martial arts. I mean, it ain't no stuff that, you know, nobody else, y'all don't really know this stuff. It ain't, you know, this ain't kung fu, this ain't, this ain't Chinese, this ain't Taiwanese. Just to help brothers, you know, people, people keep begging me all the time, so I learned a little, little, you know, a little martial arts called, nigga, please. <laughs> I'll be inside the matrix on the edge. <laughs> Let me get three dollars said, nigga, please. <laughs> sure. I did, I tried to start working out though, man. Can't y'all tell? <laughs> I, you know, I had, you know, no, straight up though, cause I had to, no, for real. <laughs> be trying to convince y'all, you know, straight up though, for real, now look. Look, look, hold on, look that way, look that way. <laughs> no, nah, man, because, you know, it happened to me a couple of years ago, though, player, and I had to start working out because, you know, I'm walking through the airport, and this little boy going to come up to me. You know, somebody's son, little dude, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Going to walk up to me talking about, ain't you Big Papa? <laughs> Hell no. I mean, I might be a little husky. I'd be damned if I'm notoriously big now, nah, nigga. Now, nah, come on with that one. I start working out on the spot. And two, and three, four, five, six. Bill the Burns said, and seven. I tried all the little stuff, tie bow. I tried bow, that's what I call it, tried bow. Couldn't like it, put it up, put it on the shelf with buns of steel, abs of steel. Nigga, my ab roller, all that's in one corner. <laughs> you know, man, because I went to the gym. I don't like the gym because, you know, the people being there, they already in shape. Being there talking to you in that gym language, them little already in shape, no any part of the body talking, you know. Dude, I mean, you know, if you really want to get your stuff together, bro, just do seven reps of six and your double tabloids and your tomo fibroids, your tug lug, there's, you talking about my arm, dog? Say arm, oh, man, I'm a grown ass man, dog. I ain't got time. Be trying to figure all that out. I don't know what you talking about, man. Say arm, oh, brother. People don't go to church like they used to, though. That's what's wrong. That's all it is. People don't go, they don't get up in there like they used to. You used to have to go to church. I don't care what time you came in on Saturday night. You come you coming from the Wiz and the Oz. I mean, <laughs> nigga, the regal room. And you had to get up and go on in. You had to get up, go on, on in. I don't care what time it is, your grandma will give you that speech. You ain't gonna party all night on Saturday. I ain't got time for the Lord on Sunday. Get on up, go on in there. You be at church with your club clothes on. See some more people from the club. What's up, nigga? Yeah, man. Yeah, sir. I've been, I've been to church. I ain't been in a while. And you know, that's the scary thing about going to black church when you ain't been in a while. You know why? Because that make you a visitor. Y'all know that's scary. You a visitor at a black church? That means at some point in time, you got to stand up and have words. That's scary, dog. when you got to follow that one lady that know the speech real good. You know, that whole little, you know, first of all, giving honor to God, pastor members and friends. I bring to you greetings from the Greater Mount Give a Lot Missionary Baptist Church of Greenway, Mississippi. Well, my pastor was the Reverend Honorable Thessalonians R. Kincaid Jr. the third. Says from 2 Corinthians, and I quote, he, you sitting up there thinking, I don't know none of that.
Because I stood up in the middle of the church and all I know is hip hop language. I'm in the middle of the church talking about, uh, first of all, uh, giving big ups to God. Uh, Rem, you bout it, bout it. And the choir, whoo. They kept on pressuring me. I ain't turned into juvenile on them. I'm up in the middle of the church talking about, so you want me to come down the aisle, huh? You trying to get me to go to communion, huh? You trying to get me to pay my tithes, huh? You want me to put some money in the basket, huh? You a paper chaser, you got your body on lock, and you just, in the moment you expire, you a... My mom in the choir stand, sit your ass down. Church wild now, though, because we got some big preachers. We got big preachers out there like T.D. Jakes. They'll fill up a place like this. Creflo Dollar. It'd be all kinds of stuff, too. I was watching like this TV on the late night. It was late night. They had like a, this old ex-pimp. He a faith healer. He's straight up. He an ex-pimp. He a faith healer. He got the power now. God and blessed him, and he can heal people's ailments. He got the whole finger wave joint going to the back, you know. Straight up blue suit with blue gaiters on, rings on every finger. He be talking like this here. <laughs> oh, yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> they say this lady right here got a little sugar diabetes. Say she got sugar diabetes. Let me see if I can do something with her. <laughs> itchy, itchy, yeah, 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 yeah. Mocha toka, I shout y'all, y'all gone. Somebody give her a snicker. <laughs> Not going anywhere for a while. Get on out of here, I'm crazy. I'm wild, I'm too much. <laughs> Puffy, hold me down, I'm crazy. <laughs> they say this little boy right here, say this little boy got insomnia, can't sleep. Say can't sleep. Chemo, combo, spare, spare. High hole, rum, stick or something in the soup, baby. Go on now. Wake him up. I bet you can't. I'm wild. Get me out of here. I'm a kite. Pull me down. I'm crazy. Yeah, I go to church on second Sunday. It's old folk choir. <laughs> Y'all keep it real with me. Don't nobody really want to be there on old folk choir, do you? If that's the only Sunday you go, you do not want to be there on Old Folk Choir. You done finally got up to go in, you be walking in and hear them singing, you be like, golly, nigga. Damn, I wanted to hear going up yonder today, boy. Cause they be hitting them hymns, boy. Where marching the Zion. Brood of a brood of a Zion. Young, well, much to them. Brood of us. You been there trying to stay up? Hey, give me a peppermint, dog. I ain't gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it. Black folk coming up too, boy. He out there playing golf. I try to play some golf. I've been trying to play a little bit. Ever since Tiger Woods won, I try to play now, you know. We out there on the golf course. There's a lot of black people getting out there too, and you know, are we wrong though, no, dog? Oh, it's terrible. We out there, oh Lord, we're walking all across the grass. <laughs> Brothers out there barbecuing and shit. Trying to bar people golf cart to run to the stove. Nigga, I'll be back. Ain't like it's your car, damn. It's terrible. But it opened up the sport, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be like playing all kinds of stuff, and then once you open it up like that, then that means that you're going to have to have, you know, like black golf announcers. You know what I'm saying? Bros who announce golf. And that ain't really our thing because you got to get too excited, you know. We get excited about sports. The golf, they be shushing people too much. Black folk, we don't like sports where you gotta be quiet. You know, somebody looking over you, talking about shh. What? 
Hey, look here, dog. I'm a grown ass man, dog. <laughs> Tiger, my cousin. Tiger, my cousin. I can say something. I can say something. Black golf announcer. He'll start out regular, but he'll get too excited at the end. He'll just mess the whole thing up. He'll be calling the match perfect. Yeah. Tiger Woods could win it all here on the 18th. This putt could take him to nine under par and the win. This very short putt should break a little to the left. God damn, dog! Oh, man, you almost had it, man. I don't know what to tell you. Well, it ain't no groups no more either, man. I'm worried about that, man. Ain't no groups no more. Black groups broke up. Jodeci ain't together no more. Drew Hill, they lost one member. Ain't nobody together no more, man. We used to have all groups. Remember in the 80s? We had groups, dawg. We had New Edition, True, Ready for the World, Cameo, Guy. Man, we had all groups, dog. We ain't got it like that no more. Groups all broke up, people in different groups. I mean, like LSG, they don't go together. I mean, how they a group? They don't even go together. And don't they sound like different animals and insects when you think about it? I mean, Gerald LeVert be hollering like a grizzly bear or something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Key sweat like a damn mosquito in your ear. Johnny Gill, he smooth and he just turned into a rock wall on you. What's all that barking and growling he got to do at the end of the song? He started out smooth. Johnny, you got me singing my, 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 my. My mama, 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 run, 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 Get your dog, man. Get your dog, delicious. Ain't nobody playing. The trip, man. Ain't no groups no more, man. Remember in the 80s? If you was a lead singer in the group, you used to have to do this move right here. You couldn't be no lead singer if you was in the 80s. You ain't know how to. Ain't like new edition, ain't Mr. Telephone Man. There's something wrong with my line when I dial my baby's number. Get kick every time. Mr. Telephone Man. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you was true. Spread my wings and fly away to that place that I long for. Nigga, you was junior. And mama used to say, take your time, young man. Mama used to say, don't you 